Hey, Dennis, come on in. I just came over to tell you that I can't come over tonight, okay? Bye. Bye. And there's absolutely no use in you trying to change my mind, okay? Bye. Bye. If you must know, I am not in the mood to work tonight because I'm a little depressed. Okay, bye. Bye. You're not making this easy, Sarah. I'm sorry, I haven't quite figured out what we're doing yet. I lost the Rossetti case. Oh, Dennis, I'm so sorry. Oh, for God's sake, Sarah, don't make such a federal case out of it. Come in here, please. All right, but just for a minute. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. All right. I'm sorry you lost your case, Dennis, but you know, I guess you can't win them all. No, but you do have to win at least one out of ten to stay in business. Here, sit down and tell us what happened. You want to know what happened? They decided that the damage was minimal. They do not care that a sweet little old woman cannot sit down to a meal without reliving that horrible moment when she realized someone's foot had been in her cereal. <laughs> I've gone over this case a hundred times in my head, and the only thing I can think of that I did wrong was wear a raw silk tie with a cotton blend shirt. The best thing to do is just put it behind you. What we should do now is work on the Fletcher case. You know, it's always good to get right back on the horse after you fall off. I lost a case, Sarah, not the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> We have a meeting with Bill Fletcher at 9 tomorrow morning. Really, we should work. I don't want to work, Sarah. I have to do something to let off steam. I need to do something reckless and irresponsible. I think I'm going to go home and reline my kitchen shelves. <laughs> Is my tuba teacher hiding up here? No. No. <laughs>